All right, guys, welcome back. Welcome to my dirty and messy garage. And by the title of this video, you can probably tell where we're going with all of this. But my garage is kind of a mess. Don't let this camera fool you. It has a super, super wide lens. Um, it's obviously not as big as it looks. That's only a 14 foot boat, but I have a bunch of junk in here. I got a couple of motorcycles, a table saw. We have my ice fishing shelter, shelves full of junk, three bicycles, uh, my spare tire that we're going to be getting to that shortly, a pressure washer, lawnmower, snow blower, kayaks, and a bunch of junk over there also. Today, what the plan is, we've got a couple of stages of what we're gonna be doing here. Today, what we're going to do is we are going to rebuild that workbench. And we're gonna rebuild it so that it is one piece. These are two benches that I got for free probably eight to 10 years ago from a company that I worked for. They were getting rid of them and updating stuff. And I have beat on them and they have been great. They've got four by four legs. They are very sturdy. Uh, and I'll probably just give those away. So what we're gonna do is build a workbench that I can uh, roll this table saw underneath of. It's got my old truck grill laying on top of it. But the goal is to be able to move that and I'm going to have to move a bunch of the junk that's under there. But what we're going to do is uh, build a table that that table saw will fit underneath of. Um, I've got like four sheets of plywood here, three quarter and some half inch or whatever. Uh, that's what we're going to do today. Step two of this build is we're going to put a big shelf up across the top here. I only have, this is probably a nine foot ceiling. I don't know. I can, I can measure it to to look, maybe it's only eight, uh, so I don't have a ton of room. I wish I had room over the garage door that I could put big shelves, but I do not. But we are also going to try to put some shelves up along this wall. We may be getting rid of one of these shelving units here, and maybe that little one over there. I'm not exactly sure where that's gonna go. I'm not exactly sure how the overhead shelf is gonna turn out, but we're gonna tackle this one. I do have a bunch of two by fours in the truck that we'll get to here in a second, uh, but we need to move all of this junk out of here. Uh, these are my damaged wheels that were replaced. If you didn't hear about that, oil chain shop damaged some wheels. I don't know if I ever actually showed them, but I'll, I guess I can show you a lip. Show you one of these wheels quick. Let me move more of my junk here. Uh, and then we'll get started quick. But I need to decide what I'm gonna do with these or just get rid of them. It is probably gonna be harder to see on this camera, but you may be able to see, it might be a little bit blurry. There's damage right there on every hole. It's not terrible, but it's definitely there. And these were brand new wheels. Uh, and everyone looks about the same, but they're good from Literally like five feet away, you can't really tell unless you were looking for it. Uh, it's not bad, but they were replaced. So I have four wheels here that I don't exactly know what I'm gonna do with yet. If I'm gonna sell them or uh, what, but uh, I could build a trailer that has identical wheels as my truck and that would be cool. But we just need to get on with it. Uh, yeah, I need to move a bunch of this stuff out. I need to grab my two by fours. I need to grab my uh, saw out of the corner over there, and uh, we're just gonna get to this. Um, I'm not exactly sure of the size of the workbench. Off the top of my head, the table saw height and everything is going to completely dictate that. We are not gonna go quite as wide as this is. We are gonna go to where this line is right here and uh, cut it off there and then maybe at some point definitely not in this episode we'll might redo the floor in here and paint stuff i should probably paint before i put shelves up but that's just where we're going with this all right we just got to get into this and i got to get this done because there's stuff that i want to do to the truck and i need room to work on it not just a little pathway out the garage door so let's get into it
All right, so we've pulled all this junk out, got the boater cycles out, and uh, if you look at all that room, uh, this will be nice once I get this all figured out. Obviously, the motorcycles are still going to be uh, in the way, but yeah. All right, I pulled the board. I pulled the boat forward a little bit. We got to grab our saw from back here. All right, we've got everything cut out for the base of the table. These three stacks of wood here should be enough. I've got a few leftover pieces uh, that will definitely get used, at least some of them, for the other shelving. So we're gonna go ahead and get this framed before we go pull out our plywood and try to deal with that. But uh, we'll frame up the top, put the legs on, and put some supports around it. And then uh, probably put the top on. Maybe not in that exact order, but we got to build the top. So let's get to that. All right, so I've dug through my little bucket of screws here, and this is what we're going to use. These are uh, number nine, two and a half inch. So the deck screws, I've got a couple boxes of those. So that's just what we're going to use because it's what we have. And we're just going to assemble it right there on the floor.
All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and put the top on before I put the legs on. And to do that, I'm gonna use this Craig jig. I have not used this for quite a while, so it took me a little bit of time uh, to remember how to set this up. But basically what it'll do is it drills a hole in the side there. You use their little pocket head screws here. And when you screw it in, it comes in at an angle. And if I do that along the bottom of this, I can set the top on the ground, lay it on there, and then screw it in. And you won't see any of the screw heads on the top. If I were to like screw it down in from the top, I don't want to do that. Uh, this probably would have been easier to do uh, prior to assembly, assembling that piece, but this just clamps on and it's a drill guide. You just drill a bunch of holes and then uh, we'll lay that down and we'll screw that in. I don't know. I might not trim that up until I might not trim the plywood up until I've got it all set over here because I might let it overhang the front and that side a little bit. And we can just cut that with a circular saw and a guide and that'll be fine. But uh, yeah, I gotta drill a bunch of holes in this thing. All right, I've gone through and marked uh, two spots in between each stud, I guess you would want to call it on these and three spots on these and that should be more than enough gotta remember to do this the right way on the ends anyways So I screwed that down and I had said I was going to offset it. I offset it to the wrong side so it's just going to have to get cut flush with this side over here where it's overhanging. A uh, brain fart that I noticed immediately because uh, when you flip it up, yeah, I could still make the top stick out a little bit. Uh, but yeah, it's not going to hang over the edge at all. That was kind of a dumb mistake but uh, let's just throw these legs on and flip it over.
Well, as you guys can see, it's like waist high, which is fine to stand here and work on something. It's just what I had to do in order to be able to get that saw under there. But so we'll get these end pieces trimmed up and then we will get all this cleared out and try to move this thing back there. Yeah, it is pretty tall. Uh, if I can shave a little bit of height down, I might cut some off the legs, but I think this is just going to be where it's going to have to be. And uh, it's better than having it just out in the middle of my garage. But yeah, there we go. Let's get these ends cut off. This front's gonna be a harder cut because it's so long. I don't have anything other than another sheet of plywood that I could use as a straight edge, which kind of sucks, but I'm confident enough in my sawing abilities that I think I can get a pretty straight line on the front.
We got some edges to sand and we'll move it around. I don't know if I'm going to try to like seal this top. I'm not really that worried about it, but let's get all this stuff moved before the sun goes down out there. I've been screwing around with this for far too long tonight. I got my Evo at an Evo 10. see my electrical is really close but I should be able to get away with that if not I can definitely move that up that's not a big deal it's kind of loose in there anyways uh, but there we go the camera definitely doesn't make it look as tall as it is I'm going to uh, get the TV and stuff back on there and get that stuff turned back on and then we will pull the saw in here and see how well it fits because I have not even test fit that thing yet All right, moment of truth. Let's see if this thing fits under here. I 
I know I'm probably gonna have to like push it back uh, kind of by hand. Maybe it's easier to go with this way. Yeah. Not the easiest thing to do, but it fits with I could cut I could cut an inch off, but uh, maybe I need like spinny wheels all the way around it. Okay. This that was really loud. This is the like it's your small guide. That'll work. That'll work. My butt crack was hanging out for that, probably. All right, there we go. I knew I was gonna have this big open spot, so what I'm probably gonna do, since that's a huge area, is, uh, is I might make some like little rolling cart or rolling shelf thing that I can put some of my junk on and shove it in there. Um, yeah, it's been, I didn't do a lot, but uh, it took me a while. I wasn't working very fast or very hard. As you can see, I have junk everywhere. Junk everywhere out there, and I need to clean the floor up a bit. Um, but I'm going to stop for the evening, and we will pick, up, pick back up tomorrow morning. For now, I'm going to sweep the garage out and bring my junk back in here. And man, I really wish I had a little cart I could put under there right now, but I do not. So, uh, yeah, I'm going to bring my junk in and I'll see you guys in the morning. Stay tuned. All right, guys, welcome back. It is the next day and I went and picked up some wood this morning. I was going to go ahead and build the shelves up there, but I'm not going to have time to get that done and try to get this video out because it's been a couple of days since I've had a video. Uh, the build went well. Uh, I am going to build a cart or something to put underneath of that. And uh, I definitely have a lot of organizing to do out here. Um, I'm kind of stuck on the shelf uh, issue actually because I was going to hang them from the ceiling and my ceiling joists run this way. My attic access right here is in between two of them. So if I go to this side, that's 24 inches from the wall. And if I go to this side, it's 48 inches from the wall. Um, and I don't necessarily think I want a four foot shelf here, but two foot is also a little small. Plus if I did a four foot one, I would have to leave some sort of access so I could still get into the attic. So it is gonna be a smaller shelf. It's gonna be 24 more than likely uh, 30 or so would have been really nice, but that is what it is. So eventually we are going to get into doing that. Like I said, I did pick up some wood for that this morning. Um, but uh, I think I'm just gonna go ahead and close this one out here. And there's flies everywhere in here from last night and they're driving me nuts. Um, I'm not sure when I'm gonna have another video out, guys. This weekend is my wife and I's 12 year anniversary, so uh, whether or not I get a video out on Sunday, I'm not exactly sure if that's going to happen, but I've got some cool stuff in mind and I'm working on this so I can work on the truck and go away fly. And, uh, it was nice to get something built up because I haven't done anything in a while. So kind of get back in the swing of that, get off my camera fly. There's like three of them right here right now. Uh, but yeah, guys, I'm going to go ahead and close this one out here and, uh, yeah, stay tuned for the next adventure. I'll see you in a bit. Mm -hmm.